Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome. This will be your April 2022 reading. Let's see what's happening. The general energy we're working on is the Queen of Wands. Ooh, look at that. Two lions. Why do you have two people coming towards you? We'll see. So, this is um Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I think you're you're getting a lot of attention. That's what I feel. I feel like you're getting a lot of attention at this time. And um, yeah, you just your energy just feels really magnetic. Is what I'm feeling. But you could be doing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like this is you. Let's see. We do. Oh, the King of Wands. Okay, yeah, this is you, and this is your person. So now you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Look at that, right off the bat, a very passionate couple, power couple. A lot of passion, love, and desire between you two. What else we have? The Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. You're starting something. You could be starting a business with someone or starting something brand new. could also be money coming in for you. Yeah. Wow. Nice cards. And the King of Cups. Ooh, now here comes here comes another person. You got money right in the middle. It's some opportunity here. It might be a business. And then that's where you might meet this other person. Um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces also interested in you. Hmm. The plot thickens. Ooh, now we have the Queen of Swords. What is these all people? So we have here. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini could be also the energy that you're taking in here that you're going to have to be pretty strict with somebody here. We have the three of, what is this? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think this might be all people at work collaborating with them. Queen of, oh my God, I've never seen so many um, court cards out. And then we have the world. Okay, <laughs> so we have the King and Queen of Cups. So this could be, this could be you and someone else too. Being a emotional, a lot of emotions between you. This could be a lot of passion here. This could be a lot of emotion. Then we got the Queen of Swords. What the heck is going on? We have the World card, a completion, an ending of cycle, start something new, and someone could else also be coming back around. This is very interesting now. Okay, let's see why we have the Queen of Wands here. <clears throat> why is the Queen of Wands here? A lot of people around you. So you're going to be working with a lot of people. I feel with the Ace of Pentacles here and the three of collaboration. This could be all people around your workplace. So maybe they're interesting romantically, maybe not. But I, I feel like the Queen and King are really strong. Wow, we got the world again. You are definitely completing a cycle to start something new. You got the world here twice. You might be ending a lot of things to start new things, to do new chapters, new... Um, New energy. It's weird that even in this card here, we we have the chariot here. And something might be happening fast. We have another lion in here. So the lion, the Leo, is very prominent. Or a lion. Um, the fact that the lion's here. Very strong. A lot of strength. A lot of charisma, I feel. What about this king of wands? Why is the king of wands here? And this is Pisces energy. This is the... Hanging leprechaun. <laughs> this is the hangman reaching for your pot of gold. And I've got a fairy trying to hold you back. So um, this person could be trying to reach something, trying to reach a goal here. They're seeing things in a different perspective, though, because they have to wait for this. This is something that is not quite in their reach right now. And that might be you. They might be trying to obtain a connection with you, and you're not quite in their reach. But why do we have this Ace of Pentacles? Wow, we have the King of Wands again. So this definitely could be someone that maybe you work for, a boss, or someone in charge here. But this is bringing you money. This King of Wands is connected to your finances here somehow. Uh, opportunities. It could def definitely feels like a workplace um, maybe connection. Okay, what about this King of Cups? Wow, victory here. Getting recognized. This could be that you're getting recognized for something that you love to do with the Queen of Cups. A lot of emotions in this. 
um queen of cups i'm sorry six of wands why did i say queen of cups oh king of cups that's why i said that six of wands you're getting you're standing out wow it's an amazing reading what about this queen of swords the only one that's not coupled up here why is the queen of swords here Ooh, an ending. Okay, so this Queen of Swords, you could have ended something with this Queen of Swords, or you could be ending something. You do have the world, so you have completion of cycles, but you might be cutting out a Queen of Swords from your life. That will be uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I mean, you have two um, peers here. She's the oddball. <laughs> what about the Three of Pentacles? Wow. Something shocking is going to happen within this group of the dynamic maybe when this person either quits or gets fired it's going to be totally shocking to everybody else it almost feels like it's a whole uh, work situation what about this queen of cups okay this queen of cups is on guard protecting something here you know i'm almost feeling that you're with this king of wands and then this King of Cups is interesting you, but this Queen of Cups is trying to protect this King of Cups and doesn't want you to take their King of Cups. Of course, you could be the King or Queen of Cups because you are a water sign too. But um, we have, you have very strong work here. There's something going on. This is like a di dynamic at your work, at your company, at your business. All these people coming in it might be that you deal with a lot of different people there's like almost feels like a changing of the guards or something really weird and then the, putting a lot of time and effort into something here's a lover's choice gemini energy i think you do have a choice between two different people and it's like it's like paint in place at your workplace really there's like a, a soap opera going on here a lot of a lot of energy all over the place here okay let's start um getting what the word is on each one of these people what about this queen of wands now, of course that could be you that could be i'm putting it as you as being top of the reading there's some kind of completion of the cycle for you we have confused yeah i guess you would be confused with all these people admitted committed <laughs> you admitted you were committed okay so maybe at the time you were in a relationship with this person maybe and then this person coming in but you this confused you though because they come in when you're ready with this other person okay i'm going to just do one king of wands it could be two different king of wands but we have so many court cards here yeah i don't want to do all of them like that it's like okay let's do one king of wands for now I might go back i don't know i might get told to go back we'll see forget regret and healing so if someone's trying to forget what happened in the past they regret what happened they want to forget it and they want to heal it okay you know let me just put some on this king of wands it could be a different person you got so many people here that you might be just in high demand and, and everybody wants you so alone friends always okay you might have left this person, but you always remain friends with these could be two different people now. I don't know. See if that resonates. You might have two fire signs around you that you had to pick from two. What about this King of Cups? We have desire. Ooh, shocking. Pleasure. So this person might really desire you and might shock you to find that out. But there's, I don't know what to put that pleasure the way you want to put that pleasure, desire, pleasure, maybe you desire to have an affair or just to be um, sexually active with you. That might be all, maybe they're connected to this person. They just want to have a little thing on the side. That could be, it might shock you. Okay, let's see. Now we have this Queen of Swords. What's her story? Ooh, another tower. Change eventually yes because we have the tower here we have the tower here too so this person who whether she got fired or she quit it had to happen and it changed everything it changed the whole dynamic and then we could we, then we got another tower so we got tower 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 so there's a lot of shocking things that are happening like whoa what is going on here
Okay, let's find out about this Queen of Cups now. This is exciting. <laughs> I hope you guys know what this is all about because this sounds like a lot of stuff going on. A lot of hanky-panky. Expect insult. Surprise. This person might... Yeah, she's defensive. She might surprise you with an insult. This is like another tower. Because surprise is change. And you got change here. Surprise. That's that tower. So I would actually say you got one, two, three, four towers here. So I'm going to you know say there's a lot of shocking things happening. Oh my God. It's amazing. Okay. So now let's go on to see what signs we could possibly be dealing with here. In your workplace. <laughs> Whew. There's a lot going on. I don't know how you're getting any work. <laughs> okay, let's see what signs we could be dealing with. Sagittarius makes sense. The wands there. Leo, oh yeah. That makes sense too. <laughs> Scorpio, there you are. Libra. Cancer. And Pisces. Look at that. We have all the water signs. So we do have strong water here with these this couple. And then we have this, this strong um, fire, Sagittarius and Leo. And then we have one Libra. So this person here, this Queen of Swords, could be a Libra. It could be any sign, though. It's where no Earth signs came up. And no Earth signs came up with the court cards. See, that's very interesting. That is really something. Okay. Well, I hope it resonates with you. Um, so these are the placements in their chart. Could be anybody's placements. Um, you got a lot of people. There's definitely a lot of people around you. There's, you're dealing with a lot of people. Whatever you do for a living or something, I think you probably come in contact with a lot of people. So you could be dealing with Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Libra, Cancer, and Pisces. It could be placed in your chart, placement in their chart. You got several people here. Um, so let's go on to the letters. I'm doing them differently. Because I got an overwhelming response for all the names. So I have so many names. I can't possibly read them all off, off now. So what I did to sh shorten this a little bit. It's going to give you more in one sense. Less than, you know, as far as me not reading all the names. But okay. So we're going to start with the letters. And what I'm going to do is 11 dice. And then I'm going to go. This is where I write these papers up. And this is how I, I send the healing to these um the individual people that put the names in. I put the names into this little container and there's a ton in here. I, I'm going to have to get a bigger container because this is up to the top here. And and you wouldn't believe how many are actually fitting in here. You know, it's like tons, tons, tons. Okay. So anyway, so I send healing energy to this container every day. And I program for each reading. Every time I do the reading, anyone who views this reading will get healing energy the whole entire time they are viewing. So they're, for one minute, you get a one minute healing on it, your energy. And if you're viewing the whole entire thing, you will get the healing the whole entire time you're watching it. So anyway, let's start with the letters. I'll get 11 of these, and then I'll get 11 names. So we'll have 11, 11. And if I would get extra, we get extra. But let's see what happens. We have G, and this could be your first and last initials. A. T O get an R with how gator <laughs> G L Primal H K Another T X R Okay, so those are the letters. So take them as initials, first letter um the first letter, your first name or the last name. All right, now let's see. What names do we have? Let's see script. Let's, let's have eleven names, please. Let's see who falls out. Okay, two. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on now. Oops. 
seven. Oh, I felt that felt more. Seven. Come in now. Come on. Okay, that was probably enough. Okay, we have. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I still have to do um, the channel messages. Okay, let me just go over here then. Veronica, Amy, Cat, Joe. Cat's K A T. I don't know if you could read the, see those. We have Clemens, Daniel, Paisley, Camille. Eight. Wow, we got 11. And we have Jerry, G E R R Y. And then we have James. And last, Nick. Okay, now I'm just going to do, I forgot to do the channel message. These are messages that I um, received from my angels and guides. And I want to see which ones they want to tell you at this time. What is meant for Scorpio to hear at this time, please? I got so much stuff going on here. I almost forgot them. Okay, we have, you're about to hear from someone that you've been out of touch with for a very long time. They have something important to say to you. Okay. And then we have, you are about to embark on a new journey. Could be a trip or a new way of life. In either case, you will be changed by this experience. Might be whatever this person has to say to you, too. <laughs> okay, let's see. And we have... You need to ask Spirit for more ass assistance in your times of need and confusion. They are waiting for your communication. Yeah, you, can, you have to ask in order to get it because otherwise they can't help you unless you give them permission. Your future is looking very abundant and prosperous. Good news is on the horizon. All righty. Let me put that right there. Okay, guys. So I hope this resonated with you guys. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And um, please leave me comments. And let me know if it resonates. I love you guys. And I appreciate all you like, your share, subscribe, and your comments. And if you want to um, know when I upload new videos, you just need to subscribe and hit the bell. By hitting the bell, you'll get an email saying there's new videos to view from me. All right. So I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.